Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to go over chapter 9. In this chapter, you're going to learn how to create blocks from objects, how to insert blocks into your drawing, how to manage your layers, etc. Well, as you know, one of the benefits of AutoCAD is that you don't need to draw everything yourself, right? So you can bring in some other stuff that somebody else have been drawing into your project and just use it. Or you may draw something right now and use it some other time in another project. Well, the first command that I'm going to talk about is block. Now, what is a block? So let me draw a shape. Okay, so imagine that this is a sink, okay? And you see that it consists three separate objects, right? Two rectangles and one circle. Okay, now what if I want to treat this, uh, these objects as one, as one single object? I mean, I want a group of objects, okay? So um, for that, you need to use block command, okay? Now, the icon is located here in the home tab block uh, panel, create. You can use create button to create a new block, okay? So I'm gonna cr uh, hit create, and the shortcut to this command is B, okay? So B, enter, and this window pops up, the block definition. Uh, so the first thing that you need to do is to insert a name for it. So for example, I'm gonna insert sync. Uh, then you need to pick a point as the insertion base point. I'm going to talk about what is the insertion base point, but let's pick a point first. So I'm going to pick this corner, for example. Then you need to select the object that you want the block to con uh, actually consist of those. So I'm going to select the object and hit enter. And this should be marked, okay, this one convert to block because we want the objects to be converted to a block. And I think that's it, right? So you need to just, uh, you need to hit OK. And that's it. So you see, when I move my cursor over it, this is one single object, right? And for example, if I delete it, all of them are groups and will be de deleted at the same time. So also, if I, for example, select it and um, run list command, you see here it is listed as a block, block, block name, sync, okay? Another place that you can find the um, block panel is in the insert tab, okay? So come here, you see here we have block and if you expand it, we have only the insert option over here actually. Okay, let's use this button over here, create or be enter. Now I want you to pause the video, draw a shape that um, actually contains multiple uh, objects and then create a block from that. Now imagine that you have created multiple blocks in your drawing and you wanna use them in your project, okay? So what should you do is to come here in the block panel again and you see this insert button okay so you are using this button you will insert the blocks into your drawing okay so right now we are going to use the blocks that we have created in this drawing okay in this drawing that we are working in right now so click on insert button and here you are able to see the re recent blocks you have created, okay? If you have created, for example, uh, 20 blocks, 20 different blocks, they will be all listed over here, okay? And you will find them over here. So you can just click and pick it and place it somewhere. And you see that my cursor is attached to block from that corner uh, on the top left of the object. So this is the 
insertion point that I picked when I was creating uh, this block. Okay, you remember? Yeah, that's the point that I picked. Now you just need to uh, click somewhere and place it into your drawing. So again, when you click on the insert um, block icon, okay, you will see a list of the blocks that exist in the current drawing, right? Now, what if uh, you want to bring in a block from another file, another drawing? For that, you need to again come here and come and click on block from library. So you need to bring in blocks from a library. Click and this window will pop up. Okay, so you see we have library, recent, and current drawings. Okay, so if I go to current drawings, you see I have the sync listed over here. And in the library, when you first uh, click on the insert and block from libraries, you will actually a uh, dialog box will open up. And in that window, you need to go and find the file that you want to kind of um, export the block from that file. I mean, you want to you wanna bring in the uh, block from that file. Okay, so, and that window will look like this. Okay, so you need to go and find the location that uh, that file exists and then select it. Okay, so for example, here I'm gonna pick the plant, okay? And you have these files from the uh, publisher, publisher's website, okay? So you can go and select the plant file and then hit open. And then whatever block that you have in that file will show up over here. So this is the block and this is the whole drawing, okay? The whole DWG file, the entire file. So uh, again, if you wanted to pick another file from somewhere else on your computer, again, come here and click on this button and the window again pops up, uh, go and find the file that you want and then open it. And the actually the blocks will show up over here. The blocks that exist in that file will show up over here. So if you want the, the entire drawing uh, to load in your project, to be loaded into your project, you need to pick this. But if you want a specific block that exists in that file to be loaded into your project, you just need to pick that a specific block. Okay, so for example, there's a plant block in this file that I'm going to insert into my file. So you just need to click and come here when you move your cursor, um, you can pick somewhere on the screen and place it. Okay, that's it. So again, if you wanted to uh, find another file in another location, come here and click on this button. Okay. And you see we have multiple options over here for, uh, for insertion, scale, rotation, repeat, uh, placement, explode. So if you want uh, the object uh, to be a scaled while it is inserting. Uh, you can change the scale over here if you want it to be rotated or if you want it to be explode when it is inserted into your project, you can pick these, okay? But you don't need to change any of these for now. So just pick that uh, block and insert it into your project. So this was one of the ways that you could use to bring in blocks from other drawings into yours, right? Now we have another way of doing this and that is by using the design center feature of AutoCAD. Well, the benefit of using the design center is that not only you can bring in uh, blocks from other drawings, but also you can bring in dimension styles um, text styles and many other uh, things like layers and everything, okay, from other drawings into yours. Well, Design Center is actually available only on AutoCAD on the Windows, but if you have Mac, actually, there is another option which is called Content Palette and you can use that, okay? And to find information about the Content Palette, you can refer to the book on page 
11 through uh, 13 and find information over there. Now to access design center feature or design center palette, you need to come uh, to actually go to view tab. Okay. And then from here, the palettes panel, this is this tiny icon is the dis design center icon. Okay. You need to click and this is the design center palette. Okay. So here at the left, do you see, um, actually the tree view of the uh, folders that you have in your computer. Okay. So if I go up, you see, this is my PC, uh, program files, Autodesk, AutoCAD, and then, uh, this is the folder that by default is selected. Okay. So, um, we are going to pick the file that we want to bring in some uh, features from into our file, right? So let's, you need to find the file over here. So for that, uh, come here in the sample uh, folder, come here and pick this one, English US. You need to expand this folder, okay? By clicking on this plus button. And then you see the design center folder, open it up. And now you can see these AutoCAD files, these DWG files. Okay. So these all come, uh, with the auto, auto um, cat package. Okay. As a package, when you install AutoCAD, these will come with it. Okay. So, uh, you see, we have, for example, kitchens.dwg house designer or something, some other files. And these actually contain that uh, the files that you are going to use. So for example, you may want to insert some blocks for your kitchen and you come here, select the kitchen. And then from here, you can uh, insert blocks from that uh, file. Okay. Into your file. So these are the categories of contents contained in this specific drawing. Okay. So for this, um, for our exercise today, we're going to use a space planner, this one. Okay. So use this one and then we can bring in blocks from this file. We can bring in layers. We can load in line types and many other, uh, many other things over here. You see now, if you always want the design center to open a specific folder for you, when you open it, you need to set that folder as uh, home. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's expand this a little, a little bit. Okay. So for example, next time that, uh, I want actually, I want to open the design center. I want the design center folder to be showed to me. Okay. So I'm going to click on design center, right click and set it as home. Okay. If you want to pick any other folder, you can just the folder that, um, you are going to use most of the times. So, okay. Pick that one. So for this exercise, pick design center folder and set it as home. Okay. Now let's bring in some blocks from one of these files. Okay. One of these drawings. So I'm going to pick, um, space planner. Okay. So I'm going to bring in some blocks right? So I need to pick this option. If I wanted to bring in layers, I needed to pick this one. So to load blocks, double click on this uh, button and you see all the blocks that exist in that file are listed over here. Okay. And to bring them in or load them into your project, you just need to pick one, whatever you want, and then drag it into your drawing. Okay. And then place it somewhere. Let's bring in some, this piano, for example, zoom out so you can see, and then place it. You can move it, uh, later. Okay. And also you can click. And when you double click, actually this window pops up. Okay. So you may want to use, you may just drag it and place it. Or if you double click, uh, this window will pop up. Just uh, make sure this one is checked. 
and hit OK. And then you need to specify a point uh, on the screen to place. That's it. And if you wanted to bring in some other things from this file, you just need to come back, select the file, and for example, bring in the layers. Okay, I'm not going to do that right now. So just to do a quick review. So in AutoCAD, you have the option to create blocks. And then when you created those in your drawing, if you want to use them, you can go and use the insert icon. And then you will find the list of the uh, blocks that you have in your drawing. Just pick one and place it into your drawing. And if you want to bring in blocks from another file into yours from live from the library of your files you can use the library and use the insert icon and use the library to bring them in to load them into your project or you can use the design center and for the design center you can bring in blocks from other files into yours and also um, uh, you can bring in some other stuff like uh, the dimension styles or layers and um, some other kind of things into your project. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to talk about is layer in AutoCAD, okay? And uh, it is quite important and you are going to work with it all the time. Whenever you are working with AutoCAD, you're going to use them. So pay attention to it, okay? Let's switch to home tab again. Okay. So we use layers in AutoCAD to organize and manage objects in our drawings. Okay. So we may have lots of objects in one drawing. So we may have walls, um, exterior walls, interior walls. We may have lighting stuff, furniture, doors, and some other things, right? So in order to organize these, you need to use layers. So as you can see, the layer panel is located over here in the home tab. Okay. And if you use this pull down arrow, you will be able to see the list of the layers that you have in your project and in your drawing. Right now we have only one layer and this is the zero layer and actually it's the default layer. So you won't be able to delete this one. Okay. But you can create new layers and you can, you can delete those. You can hide some specific layers. You can, um, kind of lock them and you can freeze them, isolate them and many other options. Okay. And you can find these options over here as well. And this is the layer properties manager. Okay. I'm going to talk about this. And sometimes when you bring in some other stuff from other drawings into yours, they will bring in their layers with them into yours, um, into your file. And also when you use design center and bring, uh, for example, a block from um, another file into yours, AutoCAD actually will uh, create a layer automatically, which is name is def point, uh, def point. And yeah, and you won't be able to delete that one as well. And it's nothing bad, actually. You don't need to be worried about that. Now let's talk about this layer properties manager and see what we have in here. Okay. So click and this window will pop up. Okay. You can pick uh, here somewhere on this side of the window uh, and just move it. Okay. To wherever you want. Okay. Now you see we have two main sections over here okay the filters and layer properties display okay so we are not going to talk about filters we will focus on layer properties okay so you see this row over here this is the layer zero okay so this is the default layer which is uh its name is zero and here we can see the properties related to that layers layer um, let me make these a little bit larger. Okay. So you can see the, in the properties, for example, we have the line type, line weight, color of the layer, and we can specify many other things. 
Okay, now what if you want to create a new layer? Well, for that, you see this button over here with a red kind of uh, sign on it. Just click and you see a new row has been added. So, and you can just come here and change the name. So rename it to, for example, walls or any other thing. And this is a new layer. And if you want to delete it, delete this one, you just need to click on this icon, okay? So this uh, has a cross on it. Just do it and that's it, okay? Now, let me draw some uh, objects over here so you can see the difference between the options that we have here. Now, I want to assign a color to this layer, okay? So, you see this color section? Uh, to change the color of the layer, you just need to come here and click on this uh, little icon. And then from here, you can pick any color that you want for that layer. So, I'm going to pick magenta, for example. Okay? And now, I want to put these circles in the layer, uh, in the walls layers, okay? So to put these objects into that layer, I'm going to select the objects, come here at the top in the layers panels, just uh, from here, open this and pick this uh, walls layer, okay? And you see the color of the um, objects have changed to magenta. So because these icons, these objects actually are located in the uh, wall layer right now. So if I select one of these, you see the current layer shows it is uh, the, and the, the object is in um, walls layer. Okay. But if I pick this, it is in zero layer. So when no command is running, Okay, and you are in uh, no command. When you select an object and you see these groups, which means the object is selected, here, whatever that shows up here, that means this, this is the layer that, ob uh, that the object is located in. Okay. Now let's see what options we have in here in Layer Properties Manager. Okay, so I'm going to expand these tabs. Okay, so the first option that we have is on off. Okay, so you see this icon, if the layer is on, that means the uh, objects are visible. Okay, so and this is yellow. Okay, but when you turn it off, um, actually, I don't want the current layer to be off. So let's turn this one off. Okay. So you see, I am not able to see the magenta color objects anymore. Okay. So you can make it on and off from here. The next option that we have here is freeze. Okay. So we can freeze or thon layers from here. Okay. So uh, it is similar to on and off button, but with a slight different, and I'm going to talk about that later on when we, uh, you are going to work on your own project in the second half of the semester. So I'm going to talk about that later more. Okay. So just know that when you freeze a layer, um, so the objects that, uh, the objects that are located in the, in that layer will be invisible. So like this. So when you see that this flake kind of shape, that means the layer is freeze, is frozen. 
The next option that we have is lock and unlock. Okay, so what is this? Well, when you lock a layer, the objects that are in that layer will be kind of locked and you won't be able to modify them or change them or even select, uh, select them. Okay, so uh, see what happens when it is unlocked, like right now, you are able to edit them, select them, and so on, okay? But let's lock this layer. You see, it is kind of grayed out and I'm not able to do anyth anything on, uh, on them. You see, we cannot see the grips. If I hit M enter, I'm not able to pick the object. I'm not able to move them. So, uh, and you can unlock it fr uh, from here again, okay? So if you want a part of your project to stay unchanged and you want to make sure not to change a part of your drawing, you need to lock that layer, okay? For example, um, you may be working uh, on a project with an architect and then uh, the drawing that architect gives you, he or she can lock uh, whatever he uh, created and then he can give it to you and then uh, he's sure that you won't be changing the stuff that he drew in it. Okay. Actually, if he locked those layers. The next option that we have here is the line type. Okay, so you see uh, right now it is continuous, but if you want to change it, you can just click here. Just click on the word continuous, okay? Click and this window will pop up, okay? So select line type. So uh, you see we have only continuous right now in here, okay? And if you want a line type that is not listed in here, you actually first need to load that into your project, okay? And for that, you need to use this button. So let's load a, a line type. For example, you can look for hidden, okay? Let's find hidden. Okay, so hidden is listed here. You see, we have many other line types which are not loaded into your project yet. And if you wanna use them, you should load them first and then use them, okay? So let's bring in and load hidden into our project. And now you see it is listed in the select line type dialog box. You just need to pick it or click on it and then hit okay. And you see the line type has changed to um, hidden. Next thing that I want to talk about is um, line type scale. Okay, so let's zoom out a little bit. So you see here, um, I'm not actually able to say whether this line is a solid line or a dashed line, right? So Actually, in AutoCAD, we can specify the distance between uh, these lines. So the dash line, and we can specify the space between the dash, dashes, you see? So we can change the scale of any line type in AutoCAD, okay? So uh, right now, if you print this drawing, you may kind of uh, be confused whether this is a solid line or a hidden line, okay? So you need to change the light line type scale, okay? Now let's see how we can change the line type scale. For that, you need to type in LTS, which is line type scale, okay? Uh, you see, line type scale, LTS or LTS scale. And then you see we have a line type scale factor over here, which is by default, it is one, okay? Now let's play with it and see which number will work, which value will work better in here. So I'm gonna increase it to three, for example, and hit enter, you see? Now uh, we can see the line better, okay? The dash is better. Let's increase it one more time. LTS, enter. Um, the factor is three right now. I'm gonna increase it to 10. Hit enter, and you see I'm able to see the hidden line much better right now. 
What I've done right now with the LTS command is actually I have increased the um, scale factor for all the line times, uh, line tap, uh, types in this project, in this drawing, okay? And that might be sometimes not desirable. So if you want to pick a specific object or line and change the line type only for that object, you have an option over here, okay? So you need to come here, select it, and then right click and pick this properties, okay? Right click, properties palette, and you see here, if I change the line type scale, let me show you. The line type scale uh, here right now is one, so I'm gonna increase it to, um, I don't know, five. And when you click, you see it has changed, but only this object has been changed, okay? The line type scale of this object only has been changed. So if you use LTS, that will change uh, the line type scale global, globally in your project, but properties palette for one single object or some objects uh, will act individually on those selected objects, okay? That's important to know. You may pick three and then go to properties and change it, okay? Now let's talk about the current layer. Okay, so what is a current layer? So you see this check mark, a green check mark over here, that actually defines the, or specifies the current layer. That means this uh, zero layer is current layer right now, okay? So if I, and what is a current layer? So if I start drawing right now, you see the objects are white, that's because the current layer is zero and the color is white and whatever I'm drawing right now uh, would be in this zero um, layer, which is the current layer. But if I change the current layer to walls, so you need, for that you need to come here and then double click, or you can use this icon over here, you see? So you can change the current layer using this button. Okay, and now if I start drawing, you see the lines uh, are hidden line. That's because the current layer is walls. Now that um, wall layer is current. Um, so for example, imagine that you have an object and you want the layer of that specific object to become the current layer. Okay, so, so for example, this rectangle. I want this uh, layer to become the current layer. So for that, you can easily pick the uh, object that you want and then come here and click on this button, make current. Okay, so that makes this layer current. You see, the current layer has changed to zero. Let's make it, uh, let's change the current layer to this one make current and it has changed. Well, now that we have talked about changing the properties of layers, let's talk about changing the properties of individual objects, okay? So we have talked about that a little bit, but let's discuss that more, okay? So you see this in the home tab, we have a properties panel, right? So here you can change the properties of the object individually. So for example, this rectangle belongs to layer zero, but I want some of its properties to be different from layer zero, okay? So uh, for example, you see we have three options over here, the color, the line, uh, the line type, and the line weight. You can change any of these for the objects that you have selected, okay? So let's uh, change the line type, for example, a line weight, for example. So let's change the color first. Okay, so for example, the color of uh, the layer zero is white, right? But I'm gonna change it to um, green. Okay, so you see the object is, a, is a still located in 
layer zero, but it is individually green. So in the same way, you can change the line weight and the line type. Okay, and uh, you see this arrow over here. If you click, the properties palette pops up, the one that we have talked about before. So you can either open it up from here. So select the object first, okay? Open the properties palette either from here by clicking this, or you can right click on the object and click here and open it, okay? Now you see we have multiple options over here, color, layer, uh, line type. So if I want to change it on the layer, I can change it from here. If I want to change the line type specifically for this object, I can do it from here, the scale factor and many other things. So you see for these two, it is saying by layer. That means that uh, this object gets uh, this property from the layer, okay? We have another option which is by block. So this one retains the properties of a block that you have inserted into your project. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is line weights. Okay, so in AutoCAD, in your drawings, you need to specify different line, uh, line weights for different types of lines. Uh, okay, so for example, your walls should be thicker than your dimension lines, right? So for that, you need to specify different line weights for different purposes, right? Okay, now before doing anything, uh, we need to make sure that the unit of line weight in our drawing is set to inches, okay? And for example, right now, the unit of my drawing is architectural. If I hit UN, you see it is architectural, but when I come here in the uh, line weight section of the properties pal palette, um, you see, my line weights are in millimeters, so I need to change this. How can I change them? So come here in the line weight, make sure you are in this section, okay? Not this one, this is the line type. So line weight, uh, open this and come here, line weight settings, okay? Change this to the unit two inches and check this box okay display line weight because we want to see the line weights if it's off we won't be seeing the different line weights okay they will be all same okay so make sure to check this and then hit okay now if you decide to change the line uh, line weight of all objects on a specific layer you need to come to um, the la layer properties manager and then ch uh, change the line weight from here. Okay, so you see th this line weight column, it is set to default right now, right? For the walls, for example, I'm going to change it. Okay, so click on the default. This uh, dialog box will show up. So you see it's the default. So I'm going to increase it to some other values, right? This one, for example, okay? I'm gonna hit okay. You see the default value has changed, right? So, and you see the difference right now. Now, what will happen if I come here in the line weight setting and uncheck this display line weight and hit okay? You see, I'm not able uh, the line weight is, is still different, but I'm not able to distinguish the line weights, right? So I'm not able to see the thickness of the line when that box is unchecked. So you need to come here in the line weight settings and check this box. There's another option that you can use and that's uh, through using the line weight um, button in the status bar and you cannot probably you are not able to see that right now because it is not listed here so we need to go to this customization tool button and find the line weight it is listed over here okay and check this now the button is listed 
in the status bar. So it is turned on right now. I'm able to recognize and ki kind of distinguish the line weights and see the different line weights. And when I turn it off, I'm not able to do that anymore. Okay, so this is what I wanted to cover for chapter 9. Good luck and see you next time.